Paul Amwa in the yellow. Ibrahim Fuseni, the Ghanaian in lane two. Is a bit of an unfancied name in this list, but you've got to watch out for him as well. But the big favorite in this has to be the Ghanaian. He's already got a silver medal on the four by one. It's destiny time for Ghana and Nigeria yet again in the men's 200 meters. Running the bend really well is Claude Emmanuel of Cameroon, but Joseph Polamo has come onto the home straight on the lead. Is neck to neck with Ekanem Joseph of Nigeria. But Paul Amor is uh, coming through. Paul Amor is running really strongly, and it's going to be Joseph Paul Amor. Gold for Ghana in the men's 200 meters. Joseph Paul Amor. Finally, a global title to his name. He's tried in the past and it's not come true for him. And after years and years of sacrifice, he's finally African Games champion. Joseph Paul Amor is the winner of the men's 200 meters. And that will be a second gold medal in the track and field. The first on the track for the Ghanaian. Remarkable achievement. For Joseph Paul Amwa, 20.70. As they came through the bend, it was not obvious he was going to win it. Look at that. He had to dig deep, chased and put under pressure by Claude Emmanuel and Ekanim. Consider of Nigeria, he found the extra energy and he celebrated right on the line because he knew he had it. Joseph Paul Amwa, African Games champion. And he has deserved it. But Claude Emmanuel, what a wonderful silver medal for himself, for Cameroon. And Ekanem consider coming through to complete the podium places. So finally, Ghana get one over Nigeria in the sprints. And the noise uh, at uh, the stadium is on another level. As uh, Joseph Paul Amor who was the anchor man in the men's 4x100, getting the silver there, gets to land gold this time around. And the celebrations would go on for some time at the stadium. But that was close. Claude Canem. Claude Emmanuel. Claude Emmanuel, the Cameroonian, at some point looked like, at some point, looked like he was going to be getting past the Ghanaian. But Joseph Paul Amor had to dig very, very deep to win. We'll be looking forward to this one. We'll get you a confirmation of that star list very shortly. Hamidou Asana from Ghana in one. Sibiri Sita from Burkina Faso in two. Angunu Linda Christel in three from Cameroon. Joseph Samantha from South Africa in four. Nyagisira Vanis from Kenya in five. And Nadi Nura from Morocco in six. Kamangirara from uh, Zimbabwe in seven. And Ayana Dagnau from uh, Ethiopia in eight. The women's 400 meter hurdles. Uh, it should be uh, an exciting race indeed. Uh, That is Ghana's Hamidou Asana in lane one. Cameroon's Crystal Agulo in lane two. Joseph Rugel of South Africa in lane three. Nyagisera Venice of Kenya in lane four. Enadi Nura of Morocco in lane five. Kaman Guerrera of Zimbabwe in six. Ayana Dagnau in seven. Sita Sibiri did not start. And off they go. This is the final of the women's 400 meter hurdles. Uh, and look at the Kamangarira. She's gone out strong, the Zimbabwean. Out in lane seven, closing in on the Ethiopian already as they approach the 200 meter mark on the back straights now. This is wonderful handling also from the South African, Joseph Rogel. She's running very, very well indeed. Joseph Rogel as they approach the home straight, she's in the lead. Joseph Rogel, and uh, she has a slight advantage, but not over everyone. 
Look at uh, Christelle Angudu of uh, Cameroon. She's going strong, but the South African is still in the lead. The Moroccan is coming in strongly. Nora Enadi, but it's going to be Josephine Rogel to get this over the line. And it's gold for South Africa. Joseph Rogel, 55-39. Uh, she can't believe it. It's a wonderful run from the South Africa. And the moment she came out, came on through the band, she was in the lead. And at that point, it looks like the Moroccan, Enardi, was going to catch her, but uh, it was just too much. But Enardi, great run from behind himself to take the silver. And the Cameroonian, Christelle Anguna, will have to settle for the bronze. 55 39 is the winning time. 55 85, Nura Enardi gets the silver and 56 41 is the bronze medal time look at the smile on her face it's a really wonderful medal for her just a regale of south africa and uh, she will celebrate deservedly so 23 years of age and uh, she's a two-time african under 20 champion and she definitely has elevated that to a major championship winner massive massive for her she's at Let's go, boy, let's go. Come support, come support, let's go.